Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper vulnerability video. Siemens recently released a new security advisory for their Sematic S7 1200 and 1500 PLC models. Um, this vulnerability is uh, in reaction to a weak key protection vulnerability that has a high CVSS base score of 9.3. Now it's important, obviously, due to the high CVSS base score, you know that it's a critical vulnerability. So it's important that you take a look at your Siemens PLC devices and ensure that they're on the latest firmware version, or at least that you've applied mitigations for this specific vulnerability. Now, to help you with this, we've created a report in uh, in Landsuper that gives you an overview of all of the PLCs along with their version and all the details that you need. On the report here, we have an overview of all of our Siemens PLC devices, um, and also it's filtered to make sure that it only shows affected models. So you get a complete overview of all of the devices that potentially are vulnerable. To help you with that, we've added the firmware data there for you directly, so you can see the model and the firmware that it has. That way you can check if one of those devices is running an outdated firmware or firmware version that is still vulnerable. And you know exactly which ones to update and which ones you've already updated before or that have automatically updated or whatever the process that you have might be. Now, in order to get to this, all you need to do is make sure that you have your Landsweeper connected to your Landsweeper cloud environment. Um, that's basically the main requirement. And you also need to obviously scan your OT environment. We have a specific OT scanner that you can grab from the Landsuper Cloud site that you have. Um, and that way you can start scanning all of the PLCs, all of the other OT devices that you have in your uh, automated environments. Now, once you've done that, you can find this report easily at uh, and, and in the report library. There's Different categories there will be under security and then vulnerabilities. There'll be this specific report for this vulnerability and you can get this view exactly as you see it here. Now, obviously, if you want to take a further look at the details of one of these PLCs, you can always click on them um, and you'll get a complete view of all the details. Um, you already know that you can get firmware, et cetera, but you can get additional extended properties as well uh, of the actual PLC in addition to just uh, additional information of the rack. So if you want to see exactly what kind of slots there are in that specific rack, what, you know, what they're filled by, also their specific firmware versions, et cetera, then that's all possible as well. So that way you can scan your entire OT environment. You can grab all this data, run the report, you see what's vulnerable. You can get uh, specific concrete actionable steps on what you need to do in order to mitigate and prevent uh, any sort of potential attacks on your automated environments. So that'll be it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.